Speaker. Deputy Speaker, I rise today to speak on the private member's motion moved by the member for Bass, uh, which relates to the long waiting times our elderly Australians have to endure before they can access the home care package program and the failure of this government to fix this crisis. Uh, Deputy Speaker, the latest blowout in waiting for home care packages is hurting our elderly Australians, and especially so the 16,312 Australians in my electorate un over the age of 65, and is denying them urgent home care. Uh, knee, um, care. Um, now, Deputy Speaker, our local ageing population in Cornwall uh, is made up of residents who are of uh, Italian, Maltese, Greek, Turkish, Indian. Iraqi, Lebanese, to name a few backgrounds, they are largely, uh, but not, to not totally, the first generation migrants of the post Second World War II era. And they are Australians, Deputy Speaker, who need a culturally nuanced approach to aged care, one that responds to the expectations and aspirations of their strongly held family values, which involves uh, them remaining uh, amongst their children and extended families who have also an integral role to play in caring for them in their old age. Now, these older Australians, uh, Deputy Speaker, want to remain and live out their final days in the home that they built and raised their families in, uh, with nursing home care or aged care as a last resort. And that's why, Deputy Speaker, uh, uh, these home care packages are so important to my constituents, and accessing them when they need them is absolutely crucial to their well-being. So the onus is therefore on the government to do everything it can to enable uh, my constituents to live out their years in the comfort of their own home if they so choose. Their quality of life and well-being should never be compromised waiting for home care packages, packages just because, Deputy Speaker, this government is not investing enough to keep up with the growing demand. Now, Deputy Speaker, I know, I, know, I know how many Australians over the age of 65 I have in my electorate, but unfortunately, I can't tell you how many are actually on the waiting list for home care packages. Now, we're already, we know that the latest figures show that there are more than 100,000 older Australians waiting for home care packages, but the government won't provide us any details of a breakdown um, of these figures uh, by electorate. And this, uh, Deputy Speaker, is not good enough. Um, and nor also is the government's assertion uh, that the information is too difficult to glean, stating complex technical difficulties being responsible. But, Deputy Speaker, this is important information, and the public, as well as I as the local member, and other, indeed other members here, have a right to know just how many of our local constituents are on these waiting lists, uh, especially given um, that this list appears to be growing at a very, very fast rate. Now, data finally revealed last week by the Department of Health, uh, data which incidentally was requested by the Shadow Minister for Ageing, and it was finally released, shows that in March, uh, the March 2018 figures, there are more than 108,000 older Australians waiting for home care packages, and this includes 88,000 older Australians waiting uh, who have high needs, many who are suffering from dementia. Now, is it any wonder that the government, Deputy Speaker, tries so hard to delay the release of these figures that also shows that the waiting list for the home care packages has grown by almost 4,000 older Australians in just three months? Meaning, of course, that the 3,500 new home care packages per annum that were committed in the budget will not come anywhere close to meeting the demand uh, of Australia's ageing population. Um, Deputy Speaker, there's no doubt about it. The Turnbull government has created an aged care crisis in Australia. It's a crisis which has imposed more difficulties and pressures on our, on our older Australians because, in addition to the anxiety of having to wait, uh, our older Australians have to also experience this government's stubborn persistence to try and axe the energy supplement for 2 million Australians, uh, including around 400,000 aged pensioners. This will affect the 16,187 aged care pensioners living in my electorate of Cornwall. Deputy Speaker, pensioners are already doing it tough. They're doing it tough because they're struggling with the cost of living. They have to worry about their energy bills going up. 
and uh, they have to face, especially in Melbourne. As the member's time 